just give it a chance. You know, that's all I have to ask. I mean, this, I'm putting everything into this game. Like I really want to make sure that this game is the best wrestling video game that you can ever buy. And, and that's a guarantee. Rewind, recap, relive for over 50 episodes, the revolutionary force in wrestling interviews. Tony, Tony Cheney, it's great to have you on again. It's been, I think, about two years since we've been talking, and you came on first as a rising star, and now we're talking about your first appearance in a video game, which is crazy to think about. Uh, that's, of course, Virtual Basements, the wrestling code, much anticipated wrestling game coming out. And uh, yeah, there you go. You got the shirt on. How have you been? <laughs> I've been great. I've been great. Uh, I was talking a little bit before this. Uh, I mean, I've been super busy this year. Uh, I mean, things have been going awesome with the game. And, and most of the reason I've been busy, like I was saying before, uh, is because of the game. I mean, I really haven't been doing as, lot, as many uh, indie shows, live shows around. Uh, so it's kind of rare to see me at those right now. But uh, when I do appear, you know, I still give it my all. And uh, I just try to stay busy, man, you know. No, oh, of course. That's, that's all you could do, definitely. And I know you were... Uh one of the biggest stars right of gts that's where you got a lot of your and that's of course in virtual basement too which is so cool to see i saw your entrance um in that that you mo capped how was that experience bringing gts to life like that oh it's it's really cool um i mean gts is where i got my start you know for for the most part you know after i yeah. trained that was the first place that i had a platform to be able to wrestle and, and apply that training and and uh i mean this is the best way for me to be able to, you know, to thank them. I mean, I'm not the one that's developing the game and developing all the stuff, but for me to be able to represent them like this uh, means a lot to me. It's, it's a lot more than just being in a game. You know what I mean? It's a lot more than just uh, being in a game for myself. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, my, my hometown arena, literally hometown arena, I mean, is right in this game with me. Uh, which uh, a little funny fact, like when I come out, there's a whole bunch of couches and stuff. If you watch the yeah. video and that's real, you know, if you watch GTS videos, like you see those couches and stuff, that Brown couch was in my living room for, for years. <laughs> and now, now it's in a video game. <sighs> no, that's wild. I love it. Yeah. And, and we were talking, like you said a little bit before about just like our, both of our fandoms for wrestling games in general. And, uh, I always think it's cool when they add actual environment to uh, to wrestling arenas. <laughs> I think it adds a little bit more. Of course, like I remember Here Comes the Pain, you could hop on a subway and actually like travel from one destination to another in, in the city, which was so cool. Oh, yeah. uh, and not to even mention like a helicopter and all that. But the GTS arena, yeah, it's like you're it's got trees, right? There's a lot of detail to it. Yeah, a lot of detail, a lot of like a lot of things around. I mean, a lot of structures a lot of different environmental things. Uh, and then I, I can't really, I can't really tell you how much of that's going to be uh, playable, active, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I can tell you that uh, the developers are shooting to make most of that act, like, you know, active stuff that you can use in the game. Oh, that's cool. I love that. So you'll actually be able to do like environmental attacks, or at least that's what they're working towards. That's really cool. That's what yeah. They're working towards. yeah. Yeah. Um, well, first, yeah, going off, uh, I mentioned Here Comes to Pain. Uh, did you grow up a, a fan of video games? Uh, well, it's wrestling funny you mentioned games. that one specifically, because that's that's actually the first uh, wrestling video game that I ever purchased. And uh, But first, before nice. I purchased it, I rented it. And I, I rented it from, you know, Blockbuster or wherever. And uh, and I rented it for the PlayStation 2. And I and the first, and this is the, the a cool story. Uh, so the first match that i picked and i remember because i played this match over and over again basically to just to learn the game was ultimo dragon and i picked ultimo dragon versus eric bischoff and i didn't know like at the time mind you i didn't really know who any of them were i knew who a couple guys were i just started watching i knew triple h i knew Shawn michaels i knew john cena you know what i mean but i didn't really know ultimo dragon or, or who eric bischoff was i didn't know all that i just picked basically the person who I kind of thought looked like the coolest and the person that I thought kind of looked the wimpiest, you know what I mean? Because Eric yeah. Bischoff, you know, if you look at all the characters, he looks out of place. He doesn't look like a wrestler. And then, Absolutely. you know, obviously finding out later, he's not a wrestler. It makes sense. But at the time it's just like, Oh, I can kick this guy's butt over and over. 
So I went in and I did that. But now, you know, fast forward all these years later, I was just, I just got back from a trip motion capturing with the Ultimo Dragon. And that was the first video game character that I, that I picked. That, that was the first one that I gravitated to. And now fast forward, I'm working with him on a wrestling video game that I'm going to be a part of, that I'm going to be, you know, a playable character. And now I can pick Ultimo Dragon versus the wimpiest character in the game, Tony Chico. <laughs> that is an incredible full circle story. I mean, I love that so much. You know, you said wimpiest character. Did, are there any overalls released? Are you? Do you know what Tony Chini's overall would be? Uh, well, what it should be is like a two, three hundred if they could do that. <laughs> um, but that's God beside mode. the point. Uh, I do believe, and you know, don't quote me on this stuff, uh, but because I'm not the one developing the game to make that clear, but like, uh, I do believe that he's going to not do overall systems uh, just because that can okay. get tricky. Um, and, you know, just, I mean, like it just, sometimes it's just not fair. I mean, like when you really look at it, like, um, you know, I remember uh, like Chavo Guerrero was, was always like, like, I think he was, he said something in an interview one time, he was upset about his overall in, in the uh, WWE games. And I agree. If Javo Guerrero is a fantastic wrestler. He should have had a way higher overall than whatever they were giving him. They weren't giving him, I mean, probably giving him in the 60s, 70s. And that's because of the status that they put him on television, not because of his skills. And that's sure. because it just, it doesn't make any sense. You know, I mean, like, I just, I don't think that that helps Chavo shine you're not going to want to pick his character because you might Chavo Guerrero might be your favorite wrestler and you're not going to want to pick his character now in this video game because you know that if you pick him versus Hulk Hogan or him versus the Undertaker Kurt Angle these are just guys that I remember having you know high overalls yeah but if you pick them it's just gonna it, you know I mean it's gonna be a challenge but sometimes it's impossible depending on the game it definitely will be and I remember when uh 2k22 was coming out WWE this past one they did a whole overalls like Instagram videos with the superstars who were in it. And I remember it got a little depressing sometimes because, you know, Roman Reigns, of course, is I think he's like the highest one, 90, high 90s. But I think it was Liv Morgan who came on and she was like, play as Liv Morgan. My overall is an 80. And I was like, well, that's not that's not great to announce yeah. that. Yeah. Um, not a lot of hype to to play as someone like that. Yeah. And of course, it's all it's all about TV status. That's really cool, though. It's one of the many things that I think people are excited for with this game is is how different it looks, you know, ahead of it. So if that overall system thing is, is uh, accurate, it could be exciting for sure. Starting at the beginning, though, how did you even find out you were going to be in the video game? And what was that reaction like uh, at the, you know, at the level that you were? Yeah, so um, so first what happened was uh, Grim got added to the video game. And uh, obviously because of that, I started finding out about the video game and searching it and seeing all these other people that signed on. And I was like, wow, this is really cool. So I just naturally started sharing it, started retweeting it, of course, because my friend just got you know put in it and everything. So I was just sharing it. All of a sudden, one day they followed me back and uh he messages me i just i posted i don't remember what the clip was it was a gif of me doing a move a clothesline whatever it was you know and uh he they messaged me virtual basement messaged me and was like hey that was that was a really cool move you know keep it up and i was like oh well that's that's cool you know what i mean like that kind of shows me that they might be watching or maybe they just saw one clip i don't know either way that's yeah. cool so fast forward, you know, we, we actually get to start talking every now and then, you know, he just, he'll message me and I'll message him and, and I'm not on the game at this point or anything. I'm just, we're just talking and just kind of becoming friends. And, uh, all of a sudden, uh, he kind of noticed that I kind of fit into a story that has not really been announced yet, but that was kind of the reason why he messaged me and was like hey would you be interested in being in the game so that's where we're at i mean i i got the contract and um i mean with with the motion capture uh i just i mean really it was just right place right time and um, yeah. what happened was they they came to new jersey for their first motion capture session for for wrestling moves because they have already done at that point they did the uh, the motion capture video for muhammad Hassan and for enzo amore okay but they didn't do any wrestling moves yet so their first thing with wrestling moves was in New Jersey. So they messaged me and naturally they messaged Grimm, whoever else they had, like, you know, lined up in the area, uh, just telling them that they were going to be in the area and that they wanted to film some people and kind of going over whatever. And so I asked them and I said, who's, who's taking my moves? 
and they <laughs> they had no answer for me they did, they were like <laughs> honestly we didn't think about that we we never even like thought about who's going to do that so i told them that i could bring my buddy who i brought zach ruby and uh i i said i could bring my buddy over and uh for the rest of the weekend i could hang out and i could take the other people's moves so they were like okay so zach he took my moves um later on i i went on to take uh, luigi primo's moves um i took i took some other moves from some other people i don't know if i'm able to mention and uh one of those people uh they had just had like a fresh run off wwe they put me over to wow. virtual basement said that things were you know that i did well with the moves and everything and uh next thing you know they're like hey how would you feel about going out to las vegas uh to be rob van dam right place right time i, I offered my assistance and that was it oh my god i mean that must have been mind-blowing going to do motion capture with rvd and just before we get into how that felt as a as a video game a wrestling video game fan i'm curious because we always see the videos of motion capture and it's you know, just a bunch of, I don't even know what you'd call those. You probably know the name, but just placed on your body, right? Like the sensors or something. Sensors, can, you yeah. can you explain that? Like, what is the science of motion capturing as much as you can tell from your, your experience doing it so far? Absolutely. Yeah. So X-Sense is the company that supplies um, the, the sensors. Uh, that's okay. X-S-E-N-S. And um, they work mostly like, I think, um, what is it? Uh the Mandalorian used uh, these same sensors. Like they, wow. it's mostly it's mostly used for television and uh, movies, but we're using them for wrestling. Which we honestly, it's funny because we didn't really know how that was going to go. Because there's sensors on your shoulders, there's sensors on your back, there's sensor on your chest, uh, on your arms, everything. So it's like with high impact moves. I mean, I mean we're always nervous. Like, are the sensors going to break? Uh, are we going to land on the sensor? You know, like we have to be. You know cautious about that kind of stuff because they're not cheap either uh but like it's interesting because we actually just so what happens is we just recently worked with a whole new system we we worked with a body suit because we usually uh have straps and we strap the sensors to your body and you have one like uh like a shirt that you put on and the shirt has the chest sensor and it has the velcro for the uh for the sensors on the shoulders but okay. those those shoulder sensors they're exposed you know there's there's no like there's no strap over it there's no pocket there's nothing so sometimes you'll take a big move and these sensors will fly off and they'll be like all right well we got to do that again and <laughs> that sucks you know what i mean when you when yeah. you take a big spine buster or a power bomb i i've i've had to redo tombstone pile driver three times <laughs> uh pop up pile power bombs i mean it's it's crazy you know what i mean and it's it's uh it's a lot to work around you know what i mean you have to learn how to work around it uh and still be able to deliver your movements and your moves in the most uh unique yes unique, in your yes. Own unique way uh and with these body suits that we just used though uh they were cool because everything was protected even the shoulder sensors it was all one suit you pull it up the sensors go all through the suit and it's all wires all through your, your body and stuff. They plugged me into the computer. I mean, it was it was crazy. It was absolutely insane. That is so cool. Uh, just to, and to hear all of it behind it. I mean, and they're really, as I said, you know, trying to differentiate themselves. I don't know if other game companies have used that, but wow, to go from TV and movies to a wrestling game, it, it just it like builds anticipation. What? If you if you can reveal what's the craziest move that you've mocap that isn't like a tombstone pile driver or a power bomb that you remember, man, that's uh that's a good question because uh, I've gotten to do a lot of crazy stuff. I don't I don't know if I want to really reveal anything that we've done because I don't know I don't know if he's gonna watch this and be like, hey, we weren't supposed, you know what I mean? So no, of course, yeah, of I course. Mean, like, but but I, but I'll tell you this much: having to do the tombstone pile driver three times was <laughs> that's pretty <laughs> scary. That's it's pretty intimidating. But uh, the person that was doing it uh, with me, uh, he was somebody that I could trust, and you Good. know he, he was safe and everything. Uh, we did um, pop up power bomb. We did uh, package pile driver. Okay. Uh, we did, uh, man. I mean, this this he's he's kind of a power guy. I I, don't, I know I can't reveal his name. I know that for sure. But he he also has some athleticism. We did his moon salt. We did his swanton bomb. Uh, but he's a big dude, and uh, I'm excited for it. 
definitely very excited for it. <laughs> no, of course, of course, we can only speculate, but that's that's really exciting. And to go into even more excitement, you mentioned names like RVD, uh, Ultimo Dragon, and also Kurt Angle. I saw you did a uh, motion capture with. What was that like? That is just massive. Those are Hall of Famers right there. I mean, talk about that experience. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, like I mentioned earlier, Rob Van Dam was like the first big trip like out of New Jersey that I went and did with them. And uh, that was, I mean, that was crazy. I mean, you know, obviously, like when when it's time to do motion capture and everything, uh, I'm able to to keep it professional and, and go in there. And and you know, at that point, me and me and whoever it is, Kurt Angle, Rob Van Dam, we're coworkers. You know what I mean? That's that's the level sure. I try to keep it. But at the end of the day, like I'm I'm looking into the eyes of, of somebody that I mean I admire, somebody that that the reason I'm in this business is because of this person you know what I mean the reason I love wrestling video games is because of the Ultimo Dragon here I am you know looking at him in the eyes uh, for this video game you know uh, I mean I used to pick Kurt Angle over and over again and, and it yeah. goes back to that <laughs> high overall you know what I mean Kurt Angle had a really high overall in all those games if, if you remember correctly like uh, I, I think SmackDown versus Raw 2007 he had the highest overall uh and like i he was a he was a machine and and you you i would just use him over and over and over and just win and you know the animation where they put the gold medal on you afterwards i i love it you know what i mean uh to be in the ring with him and to look into his eyes him rob van dam is really intense it, honestly like uh sometimes you have to snap yourself back into it you know what i mean yeah. like well like like you almost feel like you're watching like uh another moment when i was in the ring with dp and um it was really cool so basically i was supposed to just stand there and just he was going to come up and just give me a couple of strikes just basic punches and then that was that was going to be the whole thing so he yells action all of a sudden under his breath he goes lock up <laughs> and we lock up and we started chaining we did a whole thing it was like you know it's a, there's a video on uh, instagram and youtube mm -hmm. uh, of, of me and him wrestling and it's it's like a two-minute video of us wrestling but it's just crazy because it, like like I was just supposed to stand there and take a couple punches. All of a sudden, here I am locking up with former WCW World Heavyweight <laughs> Champion DDP, which is I mean incredibly unique opportunity that I mean not a lot of people get. And so uh, at the end of the day, uh, I'm very fortunate. You know what I mean? I'm very fortunate for for all those opportunities, and uh, that's how I feel about it. I mean, that's how I feel about seeing those those legends in the ring and and. Uh, you know, like even I had a cool experience, uh, not to ramble on, but uh, no, you know, please, so please pops into my head. But uh, with with Vampiro, um, when we were wow. working with Vampiro, uh, he did he went up. It's it's on the highlight video that that came out on uh, Virtual Basement's page. But uh, he went up and he did his corkscrew moonsault uh, and he landed, you know, flat back and got up and took a clothesline and inside out bump. And he wanted to do that. And I told him, I said, like, because he, he was talking about, you know, being in some pain and everything. And I told him, like, like, I'm, I'm willing to go up and I, and I can do this for you. Like, I'll, I'll do that because there's certain, you know, obviously we, we don't want to make anybody do anything they're not uncomfortable with or anything like mm -hmm. that. We want to make sure that we give everybody the option. Like, if you want this move in the game and you don't want to perform it right now, we understand and we're going to get it in there for you. You know what I mean? So yeah. I told him that. And, and he looked at me and he said that uh, if you if you guys want Vampiro in the game, you're going to get Vampiro in the game. And he went up there and he did it. And oh now he's God. that was just incredible because he was, you know, he told us, you know, he's in pain that, you know, he's got he's yeah. got only one four screw moonsault for the day. He can't do it again. You know what I mean? But he told <laughs> yeah. us, like, like this is this is it. And I'm doing it because I'm Vampiro. And if you want Vampiro in this game you're going to get Vampiro. So right there, like, I really understood that Vampiro understood how important it was for us to get his unique movements, motions, actions in this game so that when you're holding that control there, you're not, you know, some, some indie wrestler that, that got chosen to do all the motion capture for all the moves. You are Vampiro. When you have that controller, you are Rob Van Dam. You are Kurt Angle. You are Tony Cheney that's awesome you don't have that opportunity in any other games no 
No, you don't. That is so cool to hear too. That that's like that one take and it's over, right? Like you have that one shot to get it. Uh, I love that story about Vampiro. And I did hear that about virtual basement. Uh, another unique component is that they've traveled right for the wrestling code. They've traveled to actually get unique motion capture for each individual person. So you really do feel like you're playing as them. That's super commendable. That's amazing. Cause I know that in, wwe games especially yeah it's always like one or two people that you see and you could kind of tell right if you're a if you're a real like savant of the games i guess you could be like oh that's i don't know amazing red or something but awesome awesome to hear though for sure we talked a lot about the unique factors you just mentioned one that's great that you really feel like you're playing as who you are with so many wrestling games coming out right now you have the AEW one on the rise and of course wwe coming out with their yearly one still what would you say is the key factor that makes this game different if you had to choose one what is going to make virtual basements wrestling code stand out amongst all the other ones well it's exactly what i was just talking about i mean it's really just the fact that this is the most what's the oh man the authentic mm, uh wrestling yeah. that you can get I mean, like, like uh, he, uh, the developer one time uh, kind of put it to me in a way that was interesting. It's like he's collecting, you know, these these movements and these moments, almost like he's collecting like these these action figures, you know, but like he has he has these 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 motions for life, you know, once like I mean, you know, I mean, uh, hopefully it doesn't happen anytime soon. But once Kurt Angle is, is is gone or once Rob Van Dam or you know what I mean? Like, God forbid, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Like those motions and those movements of them, that's there for life. That's captured for life through through the XM suits, through the video game. You know, it's it's not only on the video game. We have those motions. You know, he he can apply them. Uh, to, I mean, we can apply them to anything. You know, it's it's just incredible that you're getting those genuine motions from those people, and and they're saved for life, and and you can't get rid of them. And it's it's crazy. That's that's the thing that it's makes incredible. this game the most unique wrestling game that's ever going to come out. And that's that's guarantee, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, that's amazing to hear. That's incredible technology, too. I love that. Uh, from an aesthetic point, because I'm, I'm curious, because I, I create a lot in the video games, the creation suite and everything. Do you have oh, yeah. any do you have any information on that or any knowledge that you could share? Not us? really. Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't really know much about that. I know that they they want to have a really awesome creation suite. I know that they like he's you know we've talked about it before, like how how he wants it to be really awesome. He wants it to be because he knows how important it is. Because uh, right. he's so the thing about uh, the the developer. I mean, I always just refer to him as a developer because I know that people have said his name in interviews, but I don't know how he feels about it. So I just it's fair. keep as yeah. a developer. But uh, he is a huge wrestling video game fan. And this is his first wrestling video game that he's making. He's made other video games. He's been making video games, I believe, for 15 years. But, yeah. uh, but he is making this video game because he loves professional wrestling, loves wrestling video, video games. So, like, he knows that the creation suite, you know, is, is super important. So, I mean, I can't share, like, I, I don't know if he's sitting there right now working on the creation suite i, I don't think mm -hmm. that that would be something that because like also like what what a lot of people um have to realize like a lot of people online uh you know like they, they say oh this game has been in development for years and it's taking so long but the reason is because of what i just said we're trying to get every i mean imagine trying to go to all these people individually and working around their schedules working around our schedules to try to get all of their movements all their motions not you know it doesn't just take one day sometimes and if it does it's a long day so mm -hmm. it's like i mean like the more time that we take on the game the better the creation suite's going to be and the, the better the moves they're going to be the better the arenas the you know the the backstage the gts you know backstage all that kind of stuff like like that's what's going to make it possible it's just you know time uh but i'd say if i had to bet that the creation suite's going to be awesome because i know that he's passionate about it oh that's so cool to hear uh and yeah totally i mean it's hard enough to set up you know an hour-long virtual interview in my experience i can't imagine working around someone's schedule to get him in a suit and everything uh especially <laughs> in the world of wrestling yeah 
so you so I saw the outfit that you have on as Tony Chin in the game and and uh, Enzo I think and a few other ones. What goes into that for you uh, specifically? I'll say because when you motion capture, I'm sure it's just on a or I don't know, but is it on just like a, a blank slate? And then like you have any input on what you're wearing uh, attire wise? So basically, uh, like when you do the motion capture, like like when I'm doing the motion capture and, and let's just say we did a scene and then we watch back that scene, it's just basically two skeletons doing the scene. Got you know? it. So it's yeah. two, you know, whatever, like two blank people. Uh, then they have, I'm, I'm sure you've seen, they've put out like all the models. Mm-hmm. They basically put those skeletons into those models and make the move. So now, like as far as the attires go, uh, it's basically just like they, they take reference photos of, of everybody's outfits and then they put them in place. So like my outfit that I was wearing there, like I have two or three other pairs of shorts that are super similar to that. So because they already have that design of the shorts, all they really need is like the logos and all that stuff. And they could just apply it because it's, it's already there. Basically. It's just now right. we're just the outfit. But if I change my outfit completely, because I also have singlets, I also have, yeah. you know, baggy shorts that I've worn. I've changed my outfit quite a bit. And if they want to get all that, they can. Uh, I mean, they they said that they're planning on getting, uh, you know, as many outfits for like for Kurt Angle and Rob Van Dam and, and everybody as they can. Uh, and like I remember when we did um, motion capture with Facade. I don't know if you're uh, if you're familiar with Facade. He's the Neon Ninja. He's okay. super cool. He ha- he has a lot of different um, outfits that he wears, and he has he wears really bright colors and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and he, uh, I mean, he brought all his, his gear and we sat there and, and took pictures of all of it and like really detailed pictures. And like, like actually something cool about that. Um, if you look at Nunzio's model, I'm not sure mm-hmm. if they put the, I'm not sure if they put the updated one up there recently or not, but if you look at it, if you really look closely at the boots, you can see the rips and the tears in his boots. Wow. Because they're, they're trying to make it that authentic. They're trying, if, if I have uh you know oh here's something that you might be able to catch if you watch the uh the grim video the video with grim and scott steiner uh yeah. i believe i i could be wrong but i believe the tag is sticking out of grim's singlet because when he <laughs> took the pictures the tag was sticking out so he put the tag sticking out it's Very one of the detailed. most aesthetically pleasing and detailed games that i've ever seen in you know and i don't even w- what you call this stage pre-development or, or what but it's still or development, I guess, right? It, it's an amaz- uh, amazing looking game. So excited. The roster is so unique. And, um, you know, before we we wind it down here, I have I have the roster in front of me. You mentioned some great names. I'm curious how many names you could name off the top of your head of who's going to be in this game. Oh, jeez. There's oh, so man. many. Thought, just to, to get people hyped, just, there's so many names. But it's just so funny because if, if I start doing that, then I feel like I'm going to start slipping off some names that I shouldn't be slipping off. I, <laughs> I feared that. I feared that myself. I'll, I'll name some off just, I mean, some incredible people in this game. You got Alex Shelley, yeah, Angelina Love, Anthony Green. You've got uh, Buff Bagwell, which is just incredible. I can't remember the last time Buff was in a game. Bushwhacker Luke. Uh, who else do you have on here? Crowbar. I just actually interviewed him. Awesome guy, Crowbar. I remember he said he was excited for this game. Yeah. He's- Chuck Palumbo, uh, Dan Moff, DDP, as you mentioned. Of course, you got RVD, Kurt Angle, Ultima Dragon, I'm assuming, if they were in the uh, the motion capture. Gangrel, who I can't wait for. The Headbangers, awesome also. Uh, Jeff Cobb, JTG, Ken Shamrock, Kid Bandit. That's a really cool up-and-coming star there. Congo Kid Bandit, Kong. he actually a little little funny fact uh with Kid Bandit, he actually showed me how to moonsault, which I've not used in a match yet. Oh, wow. <laughs> but but he did show me. Uh I have like little videos of it and uh he you know he took the time. We we had some extra time and we put the mats out and he showed me how to do it. He was he was really cool. That's awesome. I mean, so cool. Spike Dudley, Enzo Amore, as you mentioned, Raven. <laughs> did you right. did you get any interaction with Raven? So, you know, it's it's actually funny because um, Raven, I, I actually ended up doing uh, the motion cat, like his his moves for him. Nice. So like, like I didn't I didn't take the moves from him, but I did his movements for him, right. uh, which is another full circle moment because of the interview that we had. 
of course. Uh, that, that was a really cool moment for me. And then now, you know, all this time later, they're like, hey, uh, we need you to do Raven's moves and we need you to do the Sandman's moves. Okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, that is so cool to hear. Yeah. And it's just... And I mean, the list goes on. Yes, Sandman. I mean, there's just so many. It doesn't do me justice to list them all. You got to go look up the roster because this is one of the most unique rosters I've ever seen. And I think it's about time someone comes along and and does that too, right? Because I mean, W2K22 finally just went into like putting some unique names in the DLC. And this past game, you had like Umaga and guys you hadn't seen in a while, but this is just on another level. Like the wrestling code is going to be something else. Um, Tony, thank you so much for sitting down and talking with me about it. Uh, any last words about the game to hype people up? Oh, you know, I mean, just really look out, look out for announcements. If you're not following virtual basement already, uh, go follow them on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, because I mean, there's so much more. I mean, all those names that you're announcing are awesome, but there's so many more people. Like, like I said, I was scared to even, uh, start shooting off names because I probably, I'm probably going to shoot off a few that aren't even announced yet. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> It's just so, uh, it's just so cool. And we're put. and honestly, uh, you know, just personally, I mean, if I could be selfish for a second, we're, we're putting so much time and so much effort and so many bumps and so many hours on the road. And, and, uh, I I've been on so many flights in the last year and like, pl- I mean, please like just give it a chance. You know, that's all I have to ask. I mean, this, I'm putting everything into this game. Like I really want to make sure that this game is the best wrestling video game that you can ever buy. And, and that's a guarantee. I mean, I'm really putting my all into it. Like I mentioned, I'm, I'm even slowing down on my indie shows. Like I have a few coming up uh, November 26th. I got LTW and I also have UWC. Uh, they're both in New Jersey. Uh, I have a big tryout December 3rd. Um, uh, and then a, a big show after that for standalone pro wrestling. But uh, other than that, I mean, that's really it. That's that's all I have going on for this year because my main focus is this game. And I want to make sure this is the best wrestling game ever. So if you guys can put just a little bit of time into playing the game when it comes out, I promise I'm going to keep putting my all into making sure this is the best game. I love it. I'm definitely going to give it a shot first day. I can't wait for this game. I think everyone else should stay on the lookout for a release date and all information like Tony said. And thank you, Tony. I'll t- Hopefully and uh, I'll talk to you again before two years, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, please. <laughs>